Harry's call surprises Meghan, I'll be back with my family. It could have been a sunny summer morning in Montecito last week before the Duchess of Hypocrisy. The atmosphere was quite cold. Meghan Markle was spotted running errands in the sleepy coastal town of California looking chill as she checked her phone as Meghan was out and about while her husband Prince Harry was away in Singapore. Polo insiders, who spoke with fresh insights, say the distance between them hasn't been enough to calm alleged ongoing tensions between the two men, and we've heard the latest pressure point is the upcoming anniversary of the Queen's death on September 8. British media report that Harry was not invited to a private family memorial at the castle where Her Majesty died a year ago aged 96. The source claims that Harry's feud with his father King Charles and his brother Prince William was more than enough for Harry. He has always been close to the Queen and sincerely regrets not having received any claim for compensation. The source, who also says Harry contacted the King and begged him to get involved in some way, addressed Harry with a smile in Singapore. It seems Charles has changed his mind about Harry coming, but not his stepdaughter, see, no one wants to be just another sticking point in Meghan's next Hollywood interview, so Charles will have to put his foot down on Harry's coming with Meghan, the source says. Their children are welcome at all times. But if Harry really wants to reconcile, he needs to win back everyone's trust. Meanwhile, in Montecito, it's obvious that Meghan Markle isn't very happy. She was spotted on the go with a new compact on her wrist, used to treat stress, anxiety and insomnia, she was also pictured sharing the ladies' lunch while Harry was away. Its source was undoubtedly the good old wine of his in-laws. But you see, Meghan never understood the fundamental fact that while royalty has employees who fulfill the role of the monarchy serving the people, she also had a very hard time understanding that the monarchy doesn't get paid to personal appearances, and that they are also not allowed to claim expenses for these events, nor could she realize that she was no longer Meghan Markle, an actress. Instead, it was just a small part of a much larger permanent exhibition. Her behavior was reflected in the way this show was viewed and she also couldn't accept the fact that there would be things that as a member of the royal family she was no longer allowed to do, Meghan had to come to terms with the fact that she is not a royal princess and never will be. He was incredibly rude to the staff himself. She didn't like bowing to people above her. She is also incredibly jealous of other family members, including Princess Catherine, the future queen. Meghan thought that with the snap of her fingers, she could meet a listener, and that, Meghan Markle has been a bit of an actress for a while and she's been a yacht girl for a while. It's not a very impressive wallpaper. I must say that Meghan was also concerned that as a member of the royal family, she should not have to express her political opinions. You see, the royals do politics mostly in public, and it's not like she can do much or organize impromptu events. His schedule would be heavily planned, you would also be expected to stay away from people who might negatively affect the family. I mean, the friendship with Jeffrey Epstein was just too much. She also had to be careful not to appear wasteful or irresponsible. The public could not see that she discredited the family by the things she said or by her behavior or with whom she chose to associate herself as an active member of the family, causing her to perform the tasks that the public expected of her. Today, the monarchy maintains many traditions that may seem strange in the 21st century, but are nonetheless incredibly important. They constitute the invention Meghan Markle has failed to live up to even one of the expectations of a working royal, and perhaps that's why she said she wants to modernize the royal family as if it were. Was really his right to do so, I mean, Meghan Markle is so smug and the irony is she was an actress. She understands what it means to act in a play or a film. Includes a supporting role. She knows how to deal with the media, how to dress appropriately, how to keep quiet, and how to promote the show like it's a business suit. But as a real worker, she couldn't fit in, for example, an actor is not allowed to criticize the director or the show during an interview. I think the Queen thought she was going to figure out how to fit in and she was going to be able to fit into her role trying to be the diva and acting like this big star just blew up in her face. I mean, you can take the girl off the yacht, but you can't take the yacht off the girl. Of course, Meghan Markle will always act like an idiot. 
he can go back to any yacht club and charge a dollar, happy hour service. I guess the moment I saw footage of Meghan pretending to cheer on the Invictus Games in Toronto when Harry introduced her as his girlfriend, I knew who she was. I knew she was a crook. It wasn't until looking at these pictures that I realized his exaggerated cheering and cheering wasn't just wrong and wrong. It was also incredibly over the top, and I was convinced at the time that Meghan was an actress and impersonator and it was a prank, there was simply no authenticity to her, no authenticity to her mock applause. Basically, his behavior seemed fake, but in reality, he didn't even do a good job of acting and because it showed. And I knew then that she was the wrong woman for Harry and that the unsuspecting and gullible prince had bought himself a worthless lemon. I mean, who's gonna show up in stonewashed ripped jeans at an event for disabled athletes? For God's sake, Megan has no idea, I mean, people could never take it seriously with such an obvious pastry, because not only can you see it, but you can also feel that it's all a big lie. Meghan Markle always tries to play down the truth. Megan, the sudden burst of fake applause was truly amazing. I mean, it could have been acted and directed in Swahili, but we have to give it credit. He was doing his best to convince us that his ovation was truly extraordinary and that it would be the loudest applause in the whole hall, how fabulous it was not only to see her but also to hear her. Let's go now. Megan was only there for the fame and attention that was spotted at the Invictus Games, marking her first appearance at an official engagement with Prince Harry in attendance. She was pictured with that smirk on her face collapsing in the crowd at the opening ceremony of the Wounded Veterans Competition in Toronto, and it was 2017. So Megan, who is shown at the Invictus Games, came with people speculating that the two, who had been dating for about a year, would make their first public appearance together at an official event during the Invictus Games. Which Harry? Of course, it was important to create in the 20s and 2014 and the rest, as they say, is history. So if we have to discuss titles, let's do it right. Technically, Princess Catherine does not exist, as does Princess Meghan. The First Lady is Catherine, the Princess of Wales and the second person we can call Princess Henry, but we can't call her Princess Meghan, just as her late stepmother wasn't actually Princess Diana, instead. She was Diana, Princess of Wales, while married to Prince Charles, then when they divorced she became Diana, Princess of Wales. In my opinion, she was missing, Meghan never intended to stay with the royal family unless she could handle herself in every single thing and she could be in charge. I suspect that for some reason he believed that Harry and W.E. and William could have easily been sidelined and Harry would end up being next on the throne, she must have been shocked when she found out the truth. What do you think of her? Please continue Harry with us below in the comments. If you find my video useful, please don't hesitate to like it and share it with your friends and family who need it anytime. Subscribe to our Royal Family News channel to receive more updates in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day and we will come back to see you in the next videos.